This week, uh, you're playing your crosstown rival. Uh, how do the players view that game? Uh, you know, it's a big game. Uh, uh, it's a it's the biggest event in the Albany area, and um, you know, it's going to be an exciting time. Uh, do you have a, a different sense for this game? Is there a different excitement level? You've played in front of big crowds at, at the Carrier Dome and other places. Uh, what's the feeling like when you step on the floor for this kind of game? Uh, well, you know it's a rivalry. Uh, you know it's going to be a very tough and physical game. And you know that 14,000 people are looking forward to seeing a good one. Right now, uh, you're looking for that team chemistry thing uh, early in the season. You've won some games, you've lost some games, but you're still trying to find your way as a team. What do you guys have to do better as the season goes along? Uh, you know, we have to have better practices. Uh, you know, we have to continue to challenge each other every day in practice. And, you know, as long as we're getting better every day in practice, then we'll be fine. How about your de development so far? Uh, you've had a pretty good run here in the last three games. Uh, and you're shooting, it seems to be you're getting better looks at the basket. Uh, what have you done to improve your game in the offseason? Um, you, know, you know, I spend a lot of time in the gym. Uh, you know, I dedicated my summer to, to getting better, and, and it's paying off right now. You know, I'm, you know we've uh, installed a new offense this year, and, and I'm starting to get very, very comfortable with it. And finally, what it would it mean to you uh, at the end of a Santa game with a victory and you'd be able to hold up that Albany Cup in front of all those fans? Uh, you no, know, it would mean a lot. You know, I came here, I came here to make a major impact, and I think that that impact could be felt with that win. Is this game any different this year than uh, it would be any other year that you played it? Um, just, i say, yeah, it's another opportunity to try and for us to win it. What gives you that opportunity? from what you guys have done so far this year and what we've seen at Siena, what gives you in your mind the opportunity to win? I feel like every game we play, we have opportunity to win. It's just how we come out and execute and play well and take care of the ball. The way that they have shot the ball in the last couple of games, how poorly they shot the ball from the outside, is that something that you guys have looked at? The scouting report is maybe a way to beat them, let them shoot the three, which seemed to be what Georgia Tech did last night? Um, well, I didn't really watch no extra film, none. I mean, if they're going to shoot poor, I mean, that's only going to help us. But we just got to go out and play hard and try and have fun and just take care of the ball, man. Those are the keys. Is this a fun game to play in, or is it a lot of pressure? Um, it's a fun game to me because I like playing in front of big crowds. So it's going to be at least like 14, 15,000, and it's just all fun to me. Do you feel a little more encouragement when it's Siena from, like, the students and from the alumni? to kind of win this game for the school, you know, bragging rights and all that stuff? But, I mean, of course we want to win for bragging rights and for the school, but we also want to win for us and have that feeling on the inside of us knowing that we came out with a win. Even though it's Siena, I mean, say it's a big rivalry game, but we want to win every game on our schedule. What would it mean to this team to, to go out there and, and beat Um, so since I've been here, we've been the underdog, so <laughs> it's kind of nothing new. But, I mean, it'll feel, it'd be a great feeling if we can come out and win. You guys have always said you like the under, underdog role anyway, so you might as well, might as well play that role if that's what they're going to give you every year, right? Yeah, we're used to it now. We just, it all depends on how we come out ready to play. you got to come out from the start. How much of a different team are they if Ublis doesn't play, if the injury keeps them out of the game? Oh, mm. I'd say they're a much different team because he brings a lot. He scores, he rebounds, he defends. He's basically a big man in, in a guard's body. But I mean, I hope he gets better. But if he doesn't, I mean, it's, it's helping us out. But they're still a really great team with and without him. We just got to come out and keep play to keep our game plan and play hard. Do you think the defense will improve over the Florida Atlantic game? Um, I, I think it will. We just we had too many breakdowns and too many careless turnovers. But I think we were practicing. Coach Brown guiding us about it. We're going to take care of the ball, make smarter decisions.